Now there's no denying that heat pumps play an important role in decarbonising heat in the UK and indeed across the world. And we love a heat pump on the Everything Electric show and we feature them very, very regularly. But they aren't necessarily a one size fits all. And in those situations, we need a compelling alternative that can help reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. So today we've come to Slough to see one such alternative called the Bolt e-boiler to find out how this very small unit could be a perfect alternative to a heat pump. Welcome to the Everything Electric show. Try Everything Electric at our exhibitions in Australia, Canada and the UK. Next up, London. This beautiful building is home to four individual flats and one of them has recently removed its gas combi boiler and replaced it with this. This is the Bolt e-boiler, a battery ready electric combi boiler that integrates grid, solar and battery energy for heating and hot water. And to find out a little more, I'm going to speak to Jazz, who is the founder of the Bolt Electric Heating Company. So tell us a little bit about the Bolt e-boiler. How did the idea come about? Absolutely. So we've actually been in the electric combi boiler industry for a long time, since 2013. And the two biggest complaints we had is too much power from the grid and the bills are too high. So we're thinking, well, what can we do to solve this issue? And we thought, well, battery, you know, store some energy in a battery and then throw that into the shower when you need it so you can lower the demand on your grid, so you can lower the current. So instead of 50 amps, using 30 amps and you can use all your other appliances. And then also you can use it with the, your full grid to boost your water supply. So now you can run waterfall showers and baths and basically just an energy store instead of a tank in a much smaller lithium ion format is much more efficient, much easier to install. And that's, that's how we come up with Bolt through experience, through lived installation experience. And so talk to us about the setup. Do you have to have solar? Like what are the various different components? So solar is optional, battery is optional as well. You can have just a standalone boiler and you can add a battery or you can stack batteries. You can put two, three, four batteries to give you four hours of, hot, of extra hot water. And the panels plug directly into Bolt, which plug directly into the boiler which means that there's no grid tie inverter, there's no hybrid inverter, you've cut that cost away and you get more efficiency because you've got DC panels going to a DC battery, going to a DC heater in a really uh, specialized patented heat exchanger, which means our efficiency is really good. Are there any properties that are particularly well suited to getting a bolt e boiler? All properties can put bolt in, it will heat any home up. Um, it can do up to 20 rads or in 100 square meters of underfloor heating. I will say that if it's a badly insulated property, your bills will be high. But if it's well insulated, A or B, it's basically on comparison with a heat pump, if you run it like a normal boiler, like two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening when you come back from work, that sort of thing, we see basically similar prices to a heat pump. And does it occupy more space than, say, a traditional combi boiler? No, it's the same size as a combi, which is one of the biggest attractions to Bolt. And the battery sits just underneath it in its footprint, it's four kilowatt hours, it's very small, it can go in any home, big to small. Do you have to have any upgrades to your radiators? No, it can directly plug into your existing radiators. So if you've got a gas combi, you can rip out your gas combi, flow return, hot water, cold water, you can put it in in about half a day. In what situations might you recommend this um, instead of a heat pump? So I don't think I would recommend this instead of a heat pump. I think if you can put a heat pump in, you should. They are fantastic, you get three to one efficiency. But the problem is 54% of homes in the UK can't put a heat pump in. So we are there for you. And if you're watching this video, that's probably you which is great, uh, but yeah, and of those 54%, 13% have to do home upgrades. So if, if you're in terraced housing, you have noise laws which stop you from putting a monoblock outside, people can't put the buffer tank or the hot water tank. So if you want to get away from gas and you can't put a heat pump, Bolt is a really good solution for you. We're really excited to partner with Duracell Energy to showcase their amazing renewable energy solutions. If you want to reduce your energy bills and join the renewable energy transition, installing home battery storage and solar panels at home is a great way to start. Duracell Energy's ecosystem of products typically partners with solar panels, but they can be just as effective without it, particularly for electric vehicle owners or anyone looking to take control of their energy. And with Duracell Energy's Platinum Homeowner offer, viewers can get a custom service that pairs you with top quality products and the best installers in your area. Duracell Energy's batteries, inverters and DV chargers work together on one easy to use app. With features like dynamic tariff integration and grid services, you'll be able to maximize your return. Ready to get started? You can get your quote today. And don't forget, we're also giving away a Duracell Energy Bunny in every episode. Just answer the question about Fully Charged by following the link in the description. Good luck.
So we have here in the UK the boiler upgrade scheme. Does that apply to something like the Bolt e-boiler? Not yet, but because it's the solar system as well, so Bolt is solar PV and hot water and heating, we can kind of sneak under the solar grant. But there is, there is work in the works to kind of make this a slightly more uh, compelling option from an affordability perspective. Yeah, but I mean, from an from affordability perspective, you get solar heating hot water for £3,500, which is still less than you would pay for a heat pump installation even after the grant. So even if, even if you don't have any grants, it's still about the same cost as a gas boiler. So the 3,500, which gets you the solar and all of the, uh, the battery and the bolt boiler, presumably that's not the whole amount of solar that you'd need to, to run your household. No, no, it's just running the, to charge in the battery, which basically gives you the kick of energy. So that runs about 1.5 to 2 kilowatts and the battery storage is 4 kilowatt hours, but that's stackable. So you can add another battery, give 8 kilowatts, but it'll only charge at 1.5 to 2 kilowatts. And in terms of those running costs, what does that look like compared to gas? So on the shower side, it's a bit cheaper than gas uh, because you're using basically half of your energy in the battery. And also um, gas boilers are less efficient, especially when you modulate down. On the heating side, if you have an A-insulated property and you run it like a normal gas boiler, we see really good results because your like, A-insulated property only loses about four kilowatts. And we can put on four kilowatt heaters and keep just for two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening, the house nice and, nice and hot. If you want to run it all day, it's going to be a bit, more, a bit more expensive. If you have a badly insulated property, it's going to be a bit more expensive. So we see with a heat pump that you have to kind of have a different way of using it, that you have a, a lower temperature or a warm temperature throughout the day rather than heating in the morning, heating in the evening. Yeah. Are you saying so the, with the bolt e-boiler, you would run it a bit more like a traditional boiler system, so maybe putting it on at two different moments in the day? Yeah, so that's the benefit of bolt. Because it's, it's got a lot of energy, it's really power dense, we can ramp up temperature in the house very quickly. Probably not as much as, as quick as a gas boiler but a lot quicker than a heat pump, which means that you can turn it on in the morning for two hours, get your house up to 25 degrees. You go off to work, boiler turns off, come home, another two hours, get it hot. And you, you, if you use two hours at eight kilowatts, that's 16 kilowatts, 32 kilowatt hours for the day. Whereas a heat pump running 24 hours at two kilowatts, that's 48 kilowatt hours. So mm. it actually can, we've seen in some of our case studies, it works out about the same price, if not cheaper, if you run it like a normal gas boiler. So how do homeowners actually control the setup? Is there an app, for example? Yeah, there's an app. It's got some pretty unique features. We have um, like timers, so we can set the time for the charge. So we can grid charge at night when the tariff is low, or we can grid uh, solar charge during the day. So you can drag the sliders. Uh, we can control like, you know, the batteries that they come on. We can see all the voltages, you control everything there. Got some cool features. We've got an HMO mode. So if you're in an HMO and you have multiple people in all, all, the, all the rooms, if you want to have a shower and the litre per minute goes above a threshold, you can set it. So you've got to enable it from the phone. And then it app knows, well, this person's had a shower then, and then it can divide the bill at the end of the month by how many people, how many kilowatts you've used, how much water you've used. Um, and there's a teen mode. So if you have a teenager who likes to spend 45 minutes in the shower, you can set it to like 10 <laughs> minutes and then it will slowly ramp the temperature down so they know they need to get out as soon as possible. So there's lots of different features because our heat exchange is so unique and we can really control the temperatures. So there you have it, there is another wonderful alternative to an oil or gas boiler or if your property isn't suitable for a heat pump. And actually the bolt boiler will be at our live show at the London XL on the 16th, 17th and 18th of April so do come along and take a look at it for yourself. But that's it, please do like and subscribe and if you have been, thank you for watching.